let me start with uh, some news. I have a bunch of news to share with you today. Uh, first of all, uh, for the people that uh, are into reporting, uh, Zo released their fifth edition of Zo Analytics, and it's loaded with good stuff. Uh, let me share my screen. Now with Zo Analytics number five, you have a few cool things that you can do. Uh, let me just mute the audio here. Yeah. So a few things that I, I found uh, cool about uh, this edition. Let's see if they have it here. So first of all, the, the data interface, it's nicer. And you also have a way to prepare the data. In the previous uh, versions, you were a bit limited in, in what you can do with the data. Sometimes you will have an integration with, uh, let's say, ZO CRM being imported to ZO Analytics, and the data was messed up. And then you need to go back to ZO CRM. You need to clean the data, sync again, back and forth between the systems, killing tons of time. Now with Zoho Analytics 5, you can clean the data and prepare it in Zoho Analytics. So imagine that Zoho Analytics will be like a subset of the data that you need to report on, which it's very, very good for people that are into the reporting uh, business. Uh, we also have uh, augmented insights, which is a new feature that the Zoho introduced. The Zia capabilities are really insane. They have lots of uh, Zia capabilities uh, in this product. And there is the what if, which I really, really like. So let's say that your data right now that you have 26% conversions and the graphs and all the interfaces showing you based on the real data. And then you say, what if I push to 30% conversion? and then all the graphs and everything is changing based on your future estimate of improvement. Now, I think this is priceless because it allows you to predict what will happen based on a future change and the change was not there yet. And, and this is why I think it's powerful. So this is, this is something that I, I recommend you to explore the uh, new version five. And if you need help with it or developers for it, we have uh, one team that we presented them on YouTube a few times. They're very, very strong and they're inexpensive. So I recommend uh, uh, checking it out. Uh, I got also many emails asking, why did you move from Showtime to Zoom webinar? And uh, I, I answered it last week, but again, there were really massive amount of emails. So the main reason Zo Showtime is 720 DPI, the resolution is not good enough. And therefore the YouTube uh, recording when I'm uploading to YouTube, which is 1080 DPI is just not good enough. It's uh, pixelized. Another problem with the recording, sometimes the audio is lagging from like by 1% or one millisecond from the video. And you can watch the other Q and A, you can see that the audio and audio is not, uh, is not perfect. So it's not matching. So it looks like I'm talking and then the audio comes back and forth. There were small issues like that. And the bottom line, I'm doing those sessions and I'm, I'm doing all those, you know, videos on YouTube. So you guys can get some value. And if the, the quality is not good, I think it's defeating the purpose. So this is why I left and I moved to, Zo, uh, to Zoom webinar, which I think until now people are happy with it. If that will not be good, we'll move somewhere else. I just want to give you some value guys. Um, we're opening an office in, uh, in the US. The, the office in the US will be open probably the beginning of next month. We're going to offer um, services that we did not provide so far. For example, development services, writing scripts, all the stuff that we used to uh, refer to other developers, we're going to do it in-house. Uh, that's, that's a big change. We got uh, lots of uh, criticism from uh, customers. They didn't like the idea that they sign a contract with us for the business consulting. 
and then we move them to sign another contract with a different developer or multiple developers. So basically we are going to facilitate everything in-house. The developers basically will work with us in-house and uh, we will offer project management services for the bigger clients. So everything will be in-house like any other web development sh shop or uh, I would say a ZO development shop. So there is a feature in a ZO CRM. Uh, it's a new feature called client scripts. It allows the user basically to load data as it goes. For example, let's say that I'm creating now a deal. I will be able basically, let's say that I'm selecting now an account. Based on the account, I can load with JavaScript. Let's say I can construct a deal name. Let's say that my structure is account name. Okay, so that will be, let's say, amazing business result dash client name dash some kind of a service. I can do that automatically as I type here on this page. I can create fields around or maybe based on the account name. I can grab information from the account section or contact section. Everything is on the fly. And this is a bit of a change to the previous way because the previous way was that once you save, then you're running everything in the client script because it's JavaScript and it's client side. And that's something more for developers I, I need to, to mention. It allows you to add all the details while you're typing. So I think it's also, it's a, it's a cool addition. For the ones that are using uh, Zoho Catalyst, uh, they will have uh, servers now also, data server uh, centers also in India and uh, in the EU. So that's, uh, that's a new change. Um, with the email section, if you will go to your settings, and you go to email, you can see that you have some kind of an improvement to, to the layout. And here you can see basically the layout of the future email that you're going to write. So you have the default size, the, the font family. I expect Zo to do more work here. And I think it's only the beginning. If you do not have this uh, feature yet, it will come to you. I know that Zo usually deploy changes slowly and they're just checking to see what's going on so just just be ready for it it will come so this is a new section a marketing hub if you guys are working with it will be changed or already changed to marketing automation it's a change that zo uh, declared a few weeks ago and the reason that i'm saying it is just if you're looking for marketing hub and it's not there just know it's marketing automation now there is a new uh, beta product, beta product named Zo Contracts, and that's for the contra contract lifecycle management, the CLM, which is a very hot field right now. Um, if I will go to here, yeah, so it's uh, contracts.zo.com, and the idea of the uh, CLM. It's to combine basically the capabilities of Zo CRM, Zo Writer, and Zo Sign. So some contracts will be very simple. You have a template, you click, you send it, and it's done. Those are the simple ones. Some contracts will be a little bit more challenging. Let's say that I'm working with a big company, they're not accepting my contract, there are some problems with it. Now we need back and forth. Usually it will be that. I'm working on a version, emailing it to, to them. They're sending revisions, sending it back to me. Kills time, not fun. This system allows you to create a ZO writer, basically a document that you can work together with the other side or sides, track changes and all the features that you usually will do when you're working on a document. And whenever you're happy, you just drag and drop some fields for a signature or whatever you want on this document and you send it. So basically it's three different products in one, which make it very, very cool. They have also some automations and some cool stuff here. I think it's a, it's a good product to have. And uh, let me check. Yeah, it's going to be part of your ZO one. 
So this is a uh, free of charge for people with so one. That's it. That's it. Only 10 minutes of uh, uh, updates. Okay. So let's start with uh, answering some questions. Good morning. How are you, my friend? I'm very well, thank you. And yourself? Very, very good. Very good. <laughs> I was happy to hear about your, your news about opening an, an office and providing all sorts of services. It was a little bit like you were reading my mind. Uh, the service that I, I actually want to ask you about a service this morning, and uh, but I don't know if this fits with what you do or if you would just suggest someone else. Um, I've been trying to use Flow, you know, Zoho Flow for, I mean, since February. Mm -hmm. And I do stuff, try stuff with it for a little bit, and then I get frustrated and I just move on to other things. Uh, I, I was trying it again the other day and I still ran into the same problems. Basically, in, in February, I got a, I, I sent off a message to, uh, to Zoho support and I did, I sent one again yesterday, but I haven't heard back from them yet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I just basically try, uh, I followed the, you know, the step-by-step -step instructions they have for, you know, creating a trigger and then, uh, and then uh, uh, adding in a, I want, I want to take information from my, uh, from my, yeah, in my e-training e uh, software, which is called Experienceify. Is to it bring connected to ZooFlow? What's that? Is it connected to ZooFlow? It, it says it is. Yes, I'm getting information. Um, and I was getting all sorts of weird errors. Uh, but the last time that I received an email from Zoho support in, in February, they started telling me that the problem was that the values that were being entered in were... I, in, in for, um, what do you call it? Like to take it from the trigger to the CRM, it was saying they, they were wrong. And of course I was just going in, it, like it, I don't know how familiar, I take it you're probably a little bit familiar with it anyway. Um, but basically what I understand is you, like, you know, if, if you wanna get the information for the last name, you click on where, where you know, you can enter the value. And then, and then you enter the the, va the value that's coming from the the trigger. It it all seems to be seems Zo to be fine. Zoflow, the the idea of Zoflow, yeah, is that you have some action is happening on a remote location. Yeah. So let's say in your uh, yeah on uh, my on my on my training uh, uh, platform. Platform. That's right. Uh -huh. So in the on the training platform, someone registers. Yeah that will trigger ZooFlow to push it to the CRM, as an example. That's what I understand, yes. Yep. So it's all that being done behind the scene. It's, it's not something that you need to do uh, to type anything or do anything. So it's that's all what behind that, the scene. Yeah, that's what I understood. Uh, the email I got told me that, there, that I had to correct values that were being you know, that, that are automatically entered in. I mean, that's, it's very clear how, if, I mean, if it's a very, want, very simple interface and stuff. If, if uh, you want, just contact us after, after the session, we'll, we'll yeah, with yeah. a developer that can, you can work with the developer online and basically he can uh, show you how he fixed it. You can see what it did. So you will have also a, a video recorded session. So later on, you can do your own flows. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking something that, that will take three minutes. It's it's just literally, you know, he was talking. Nothing takes three minutes, Robert. He he was ex he seemed to be expecting that I was a developer. I'm not a developer. He was talking about well, this you have to change because it's an array, and this you know the structures of an array. I have no. I mean, speaking speaking Swiss to me as far as I'm concerned. Some some integrations are relatively easy because the yeah. information is coming properly. Some integrations as you just said are an array array imagine is just a book full of values you just need to pull to pull yeah the correct value out of it <laughs> so some integrations are more challenging than others yeah so so i should just send you an email after yeah just drop us an email me or carol will will connect you with the developer and you can work with him okay and what and which email should i use your uh because you were saying uh e your email is not necessarily the best thing to use yeah we have, and it's not my email, it's like the, the company email. Let's see if it's here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can okay. do the info or success, success at amazingbusinessresults.com or info at amazingbusinessresults.com. Both of them will 
go to our ticket system. Excellent. Okay. That's all I need to know. Oh, can, Thank you, can sir. I, can I ask you another question since since I'm here? Uh, yeah, if it's quick. <laughs> it's we a have, quick we have one. Some yeah. people here. Yeah, uh, the the new setup that you've got for um, um, with Zoom, I noticed that you you know uh, 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 I, I was just wondering if that's something that's that's uh, built in with Zoom or is that if that was something that you that you uh, um, that you had uh, that that you created in some way where basically no, I did nothing. I just just paid them for a Zoom webinar. Yeah, that's it. I did I did really nothing. Oh, okay, okay. So it gives you that page where where it can uh, where you can give the option of you know adding adding to your calendar and all that stuff. It's all all Zoom. I did nothing. I will take we, a look. We spent there. five minutes to set it up. That's what I that's what I was thinking. Okay, thanks a lot. That's it. Yeah. Th thank you, sir. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Bye bye. It's bye -bye. beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Peter, let's open your mic. I know, Peter, you have a bunch of questions. I saw it from our forum. Let's go over uh, together and see how I can help you. It's, it's an early stage business. It's a sales distribution business and has, has been running using QuickBooks, but even though QuickBooks potentially is a contender with, with, with books, the, we want the integration with CRM. So, so you want to integrate and, your QuickBooks with CRM? No, 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 no. We're using Zoho One because Books is there and Books and CRM are part of one package rather than having a third party. So, so QuickBooks is, is going to be taken out of the picture and we're going to be doing everything we can within Zoho One. Good. So just one thing I can tell you, there is a company named Sphere Consulting and SphereConsulting.ca, I will just put it also here. I'm recommending them whenever I can. And they know how to do the magic of moving one system to another, QuickBooks to Zoho Books. They're very good at Zoho Books also. They're on our channel a lot. Very, very good. Okay, cool. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. How are you today? Good, sir. How are you? Very good. How can I help you, you today? Sir, I have a question regarding Zoho form. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sir, I created a form in Zoho form. Okay. I want that when someone is submitted that form, so I want that the, the PDF of that form will be submitted in Zoho CRM and Zoho work drive. Okay. So if you go to the integration section. Yes, sir. And you scroll down, you see this section attachments and signature. Yes, sir. If you click here and you click on this small box, it will first of all give you yes. a PDF copy of the form but if you will have also different okay. attachments on the file, on the form, it will push it to the attachment section in the record. Okay. Okay, so that's that's something that you can do. Sir, but it, in that is a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this, only one integration is happen in Zoho form. I want two integration. I want that when someone is submitted that form, in that PDF is copy in CRM and also in copy in work drive. There is a way to uh, create a small function that is okay. grabbing all the files from the attachment section and pushing it to work drive. But here you can have only one integration, not two. Sorry. Okay. Sir, I have a, another question regarding CRM. So CRM. Sure. Sir, I want. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir, I want to create a button in leads. Okay. Okay, in subsection. Okay, okay. You, you want to do it for all the leads or just a single lead? Sir, all, all in the lead. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So just I to have create the button. A subsection in that. This is how you create the button. In subsection. Just so, like that, you have created just like a junk, junk lead, contact it, this type of buttons I want to create it. You're talking about that? Yes. That, that's a blueprint. Yes, so that's okay. coming from. So how can I? Hmm. You want me to teach you how to do bl blueprints? Yes, sir. How can I no. create that? It, it, it will take us much more than, than the session. It, it will not work. Uh, you will okay. need, uh, or if you, you want the free version, go on the YouTube, on my YouTube channel. There are videos that can show you how to okay. do it. Or if you have some money to spare, you will go to our website, do it yourself section. And mm -hmm. here you will have a link to the course. It's, uh, I think it's about hour and a half of content how to create and do the blueprints. It's not something I can show you in a second. Okay. 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 I can see that video. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Hi, Leo. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Same here. Um, so, um, I have a question. I'm uh, using the quotes uh, module and I'm, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I want to write uh, freely some uh, words to the customer using bullets, numbering, underline, et cetera. And uh, there is, I'm using a very, I call it a flat uh, field, like description in which I can write freely, but uh, there is no editing. No styling. Yeah, no styling. Mm -hmm. So maybe there is a way how to add a writer into these uh, options. Yeah, you can do something. So if you go to the templates, Mm -hmm. And you go to mail merge. Yes. Okay, let's create. I don't have here the quotes module. So, because in my system it's disabled. Okay. It can be... But anyway, you, you will go here and you can create any type of document that you like, bullet points, whatever. And then you will just integrate. Uh, and I have a few videos on, on, I know that you have my course. So on the course that there is, there is a video about mail merge. Mail merge. And you can see there how to add different fields, including the fields from uh, the quote, quote line, uh, line items. You can add them oh, okay. to the mail merge. So it will be a huge upgrade to your quote. It will look thousand times nicer than what Zoe is giving you out of the box. Okay, so you have you, there is a lesson on the mail merge in your uh, course. Yes, yes, there is. Excellent. Good morning. How are you, Mr. Basil? How are you? I'm well. You can hear me, okay? I can. All right. So first of all, uh, uh, thank you for last week's uh, answer uh, and what you were just showing right now with mail merge. I did do the mail merge and. Uh, I can share, I, I will share with you uh, offline how I, what I did, because I think it's pretty cool. So, but uh, let's close that. And uh, I want to ask you a question about now, if you, uh, let, let me give a little background of who we are. Uh, mm -hmm. We have actually three companies. There is, you know, uh, Real Greece, which does uh, itinerary traveling in Greece. There is uh, a GVR, which actually does apartment rentals in Greece. And there is uh, many, uh, uh, Ma uh, Magic Factory Lost, which actually does apartment uh, apartments in uh, Chicago, apartment rentals in Chicago, short-term uh, apartment uh, mm -hmm. Now, I was thinking now, it would, it would, I, I want to have three different entities, but I don't necessarily want to go pay Zoho for three licenses. Plus, it's going to get too confusing to go between one system and another and another. Mm -hmm. And I was reading up on territory management. And I thought, well, maybe a way to get around this is to use territory management and have three territories. The, the products are pretty similar. So have three territories and be under the same account. Oh. Did that make sense? It, yes, but it, it won't work. Territory management is usually being done for uh, the deals to separate big, big groups, but it's, it's not for you. The, you can have one CRM with all those entities. The problem is that Let's say when you're sending an email, 
I will go now to this lead. Let's say that this lead is for company real grease. When I'm sending him an email, I don't have my email configured, but when I'm sending him an email, I will need to choose the correct email template or right. the correct signature. So this or the from email will need to be the correct from. So you send it from real Greece and not from the Chicago rentals. Right. So this is where things will get screwed up. I, I saw lots of implementations with multiple companies in one CRM, it never goes good. They're always fuck ups. So mm -hmm. I don't know if, if that's what you want to do. Okay, I well, do I understand. I don't, I don't think that the money side is the biggest problem, the license. I think what's more difficult is to log in, log out from one system to another. That's real pain. Correct. Right? I so I'm, I'm now opening, for example, a branch in, uh, in the US. I will have a new CRM for that. I don't want to do it, believe me. I don't. And, and we have also a bunch of users. So also, it's going to be expensive. And I don't want to do it, but I will have to do it. Okay. So, right. I, I rely on your experience and expertise, and, and I will quit banging my head against that, that wall and try to find another wall. Yeah, it's, it's just painful. Like, I, I understand what you're saying, but it, it's painful. Okay. Right. All right, my friend. Uh, thank okay. you very much. And I'll, I'll show you what I did with, uh, with uh, because there's a, a neat trick that I came up with. That I think you would like, and maybe in the mail share. merge, I mail merge. Yeah, you you put you put the PDF as a background on your page, and you lay the the fields in front of it. However, uh, can a, you have a PDF as a background in the mail merge? Yep, you can put put it on your page as a PDF. You, know, you can size it up so it, you don't have to recreate the form. So it's because it's a, this a form is just to print out for for people. But you can you know unfortunately. Zoho is kind of clunky when it comes to layout and that stuff, but you can actually do it in Word and import the page into as a as a doc in there, and you can then put your fields in there. So you can have the you can set up the the um, um, the table, and you can actually yep. put in the forms. But you know what? I'm taking too much of your time. There's a lot of people out there that have a lot of questions, and I will share it with you. And then you know if you and if you want to, I can be pro provide more stuff on it. Was really cool. It, it's all, it's all, it sounds very useful because um, if you can have a, a background and then you just add fields on top of it, it looks like it's the same document, which is great. But good, right. good. Thank you very much. Okay, my friend. Thank you very much for your answer. Thank you. Thank you, Basil. See you next week. See you. Sir, I just created that. What you say about Zoho form to Zoho CRM integration? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's work. Want uh, another question? Like, can I integrate my Zoho CRM to Zoho Work Drive? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, you're you're, you're cutting out. I want to create an integration between Zoho CRM to Zoho Work Drive. You want the from okay. Zoho CRM? You want to upload automatically the attachments to Zoho Work Drive? That's what you're trying to do. Yeah, so if you want to push the attachments automatically to work drive, that will need to be a script. You will not be able to do it yourself. You will need a developer to do it for you. Basically is creating a, a workflow that whenever a new form is being submitted, is pulling the attachments from the attachment section, removing them from the attachments, basically the attachments will be clear, and upload to a designated folder that usually you will have the folder URL on the page, on the record. And this is basically how it's being done. But I, I doubt that you can do it yourself. It needs to, to have some programming skills. It's not a big job, but it is a job. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Leo. Good morning, how are you, sir? Not too bad, thanks, how are you? Very good. This is my first time, and as you know from our short uh, 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 phone conversation recently, I'm very new to Zoho. So, good. Give me if I'm, uh, you know, asking basic questions and not making too much sense sometimes. So, uh, 
basically, if you saw my question, I thought you, you skipped it. That's why I reposted it. Uh, can I add a pri private subfolder? I recently added a workbook extension to our CRM. So, uh, so that does some of uh, good work. Workbook? Uh, no, work drive. Sorry, work drive. Pardon okay. Me. Uh, and so we have a nice mo uh, new section under CRM, under accounts and contacts. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a sort of a shortcut to um, work drive. Yep, it's the plugin, right? Uh, you right. Got it from the marketplace. Uh, yes, correct. Yes. Now, um, I'd like I'd like to make the all the accounts. So what it does, it creates a folder called accounts, then another folder called contacts, and so on and so forth. And deals, now, yeah. I, Yes, I, there is two users, office users for CRM. So I'd like to uh, have that, all those folder accessible to all the users uh, for mm -hmm. the team, right? Yes. For the, for the office team. However, one of the members may need to create a, a, an uploaded private file or create a private subfolder uh, under, say, public account folder. Is that possible? Public account folder? Well, it's a public account because it's it should be account, uh, uh, it should be accessible for all the, you know, for, for the office team. Okay, let's do, let's do this integration. So that would be probably in the all. Okay, so let's install this extension. Mm. Allow vendors no. Agree, I must. Okay. Agree, agree. Install. Now here, by the way, you can install it for the admins or for all users, right? Or mm -hmm. you can select yes. which profiles, right? So okay. let's do it for all users. Yes. Just to make sure that Everybody will have access to it. Yes. All my fake clients and users mm -hmm. in the system. Good. And now let's authorize. Good. Okay. So now let's go to my work drive. Let's refresh. I should have the ZOS CRM tab. Uh, yep, those CRM been added, and we have leads, deals, contacts, accounts, campaigns. It's all here. Right. What so, next you want to do? Okay, so under accounts, so the accounts will be uh, accessible to all team uh, members. So, like any for all users, brother, for all users, right? Because we added uh, this extension to all users. Mm hmm. Yes. Now, if one of the users, uh, say the admin, wants to add a subfolder under accounts that uh, he wants to make it private, is it possible? Oh, that's a good question. Or upload a file to accounts, which mm. are you know accessible to all users, but wants to make that file private. If you uh, have permission to everyone on the parent folder, it will grab also the tree below okay. it. Okay. That's okay. what I think, but okay. try just create a folder. I don't have two users in the system, so I cannot try it, but yeah, yeah I, just create it and, and try. I did, but I did not find any option to do that. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do, I guess, is to just, so once you make, uh, you know, go through the process that you just went through, uh, can I, does that just locks the whole, opens the whole Zoho CRM uh, file access or file repositories to all users. There is no going back, right? The one that you allowed access to. In, yeah. in my system, yeah. for example, I do not use this plugin at all. Oh, so see. what we're doing, it's we have basically a folder structure that no one has access to it. So it's, uh, think about it like a folder that is private to me. Mm -hmm. Below that, when we're creating, let's say an account, 
the account will have a new work drive folder that is, is being created on the fly and only the account owner has access to it by default. Okay. Okay, and so, you, yeah. And can you then make that folder accessible to all other users? If you want. So you if can you say, want, for right? example, that you have your project manager that's supposed to see everything, mm -hmm. you know, bunch of users, they supposed to see everything. So they will be shared with full access plus the account owner. And that's okay. usually in cases that we have uh, sales teams that the salesperson is supposed to see his deals, including the, the management, but the other salespeople not supposed to have access to this folder. Right, right. And that's usually right. where we do this, this trick with uh, the permissions. Okay, okay. What I'm trying to do here is, as I mentioned on the phone, uh, replicate the structure from uh, Microsoft Teams. <laughs> so... As, uh, you can create an integration with Zoflow mm -hmm. uh, or Zapier that whenever mm -hmm. something happens in your, let's say, folder being created in Zo Teams, it will create the same folder in Work Drive with the same permissions based on the people. So oh. I'm pretty pretty sure that can be done. Oh, oh okay. So, okay. So I'll make a note. So it's either uh, you said create flow. Yeah, so let's go to Zoflow one second. I also saw some integration from Zoho to with Teams, Microsoft Teams. True. I haven't yes. explored that yet. If I go to Zo Teams and we'll go to triggers. So this is only when channel is created. That's right. not good enough. Let's check uh, Zapier. Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Team integration. Let's see the triggers. Message, message, mention, channel chat, team member. Do you? Is there a different product for Microsoft Teams that is doing the magic on on the folders? Because it looks like there are uh, no folders. Uh, SharePoint, perhaps. SharePoint, okay. Yeah, because that's uh, that's like Word Drive, but with more options for sharing. SharePoint integrations. Yeah, you will need to check. But if mm -hmm. if there is a trigger, which I I doubt that there will not be, because Microsoft is huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just need to look for the trigger, and based on the trigger, it will create the work drive. Zapier has access to work drive and also Zoflow. I will for sure go to Zoflow in the beginning. And if okay. that Zoflow do not have the integration, I will go to Zapier. Or your, uh, your way of uh, creating folders and files and yes. sharing them with, for, with your team uh, the way you do it. Yeah, you can, you can do it. As long as you have the trigger that will request uh, Zoflow or Zapier to mm -hmm. create the folder, you can do it. No no issues. Okay. Okay, we'll try that. Thanks, Lear. Thank, thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for being with me today. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.